Hey, this is Tony Ross for CreativeCal.net, and this is going to be the first in a three-part series on creating a rainy cityscape. Okay, we're going to learn how to create a seamless background loop, as well as how to uh, pull off doing a multiplane. And last but not least, we're going to be adding in uh, some rain, and we're going to be doing that via a little short trip over to Photoshop. I'm going to create a ping or portable network graphic to do our rain effect. So. Uh, we're going to be pinging in the rain. Okay, that was that was cheesy, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and close this out, and uh, got our little document here. I'm going to do a quick save. Command S, and that's Control S on PC, and just simply save this as a uh, city. That's spelled with a C. Okay, and go ahead and save. And the first thing I want to do is label my layer. So uh, first layer, simply double click there. It's going to be sky. Okay. And let's go to my rectangle tool. And get a decent colored sky there. A little night sky. Uh, that looks good. Uh, we're going to be using our properties window a lot. So uh, let's go ahead and start with that. So I'm going to click and drag just a little basic area here. I am using the default settings of flash which is 550 by 400 pixels and set at 12 frames per second. Okay, I'm going to click here just to select this and for width I'm going to make it 550 and tab down to height it's going to be 400 and X and Y uh, X and Y coordinates are basically where everything is positioned so X is uh, left to right, Y is up and down. If you ever forget that, remember the Y has a thingy that goes up and down, because Y is up and down. Okay, anyway. So, uh, X, I want it to be zero, Y I want it to be zero, which means it's gonna be this upper left-hand corner. So, let's type in zero, tab down, and zero again. All right, now let's go ahead and convert this to a symbol. I wanna just make this a graphic, so I'm gonna use my uh, function key like F8 and simply call this sky okay keeping it as a graphic click OK and next I want to go ahead and create the moon okay let's get a nice little gray color going here I'm going to hold down my option and shift key alt shift on PC and that way I can actually drag out a circle straight from the center let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard. Okay. I'm um, also going to start using some little shortcuts here. If you notice, I've got my circle tool right now. But if I hold down my command key, control on PC, I instantly have my selection tool. Okay. I'm going to select that, convert this to a symbol, F8. I'm going to call this the moon. Not noon, moon. Very good. Okay, and let's go ahead and put this about uh, there. That looks pretty good. All right, now I'm going to hit, go ahead and uh, expand this out a bit. Uh, I know I want about 180 frames. Okay, so I'm going to extend this out just simply pressing F5. All right, and I'm going to lock this layer by clicking on this little guy right here. All right, now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this layer BG, as in Barry Gibb or Barry Gordy, one of those berries. Uh, actually, no, it's for background. So let's go ahead and start building our little city here. Let's do rectangle going to find a pretty light gray actually. The further things are away from you, the lighter they're going to appear. So this is going to be the one that's going to be in the back. So I'm going to click and drag out just a little rectangle around the base here. It looks like it's snapping, which is not a big deal yet. Uh, what I want to do next, I'm going to use my little shortcut again. Hold on my command key and just click here. And I'm going to come down here and check my settings. It says 548 by 31. Several things I'm looking for. One, I don't want to see any decimal points like 548.2. Uh, two, 
I want to make sure this is 548. I want it to be 550. Well, that's the actual width of the document, so I'm going to keep it the same. Uh, the height's fine. X, definitely want to make sure it's zero. Okay, and here's that little decimal thing I was talking about. Uh, it says 368.9. Let's just round it up and just call it 70, 370. And return or enter. Okay, now. We're going to start adding in some buildings here and because this is the background this is the one that's going to be moving the slowest so if you wanted to have something that was very visible let's say if i were going to do a skyline like atlanta or dc or california or something then what i would make sure i did was use that one as the background because that's going to be moving the slowest that's the one that you're going to be seeing the most of so uh, next, what I'm going to do is start adding in some buildings, and I'm going to be careful not to mess with this area around here or the area right here. These two edges, I'm going to get close to them, but I'm not going to really mess with them. Okay, I also want to turn off my uh, snap to objects here. This is a little magnet. Just click on that to toggle that off. All right, so I'm just going to start clicking and dragging some little buildings here. Okay. Nothing too fancy. Okay. And this is like just a little pseudo looking buildings. All right, got a little spot there. And again, remember, I'm not getting too close to the edge there. Okay, so I've left that edge open, left this edge open. I can get even a little closer there. Okay, this look pretty good. A uh, little trick here we can do. Uh, I'm going to hold down my command key and use one of the drawing tricks in Flash. If you notice, the uh, cursor changes right here at the edge. So I can come here to this point and pull it up a bit. Okay, looks good. Uh, so there is our little cityscape so far. All right, now... Let's do some little tricks. We're going to, well, one, we're going to stop playing without a net and go ahead and save. Command S, Control S, and PC. And I want to see a duplicate window of this. So I'll have this exact same window, but we're going to do a duplicate window so we can zoom out a little bit. Let's do window, duplicate window. Okay. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to move this up here a bit and I'm going to set the percentage of how large this is to 25 percent okay and then close this window in okay we have the exact same thing all right uh what does that mean i can pretty much unlock the layer right here select the little guy here All right, got that going. I can move the moon and hey, look at that. So we wanna have a duplicate window because we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff that we, we can't really see if we're just in the 100% in the here. So what I wanna do next, uh, let's go ahead back and make sure we lock our other layer there. And let's go here to the beginning. And I'm going to select our city and I'm going to copy command C, control C on PC. And then we're going to paste in place command shift V, control shift V on PC. Now we've copied that and pasted a duplicate of these buildings directly on top of each other. The next thing we're going to do is come down to our properties inspector and X says zero. I'm going to type in 1100, okay? So, 1100 zero, zero, and return or enter. Okay, now, it doesn't look like we did anything. Let, let's kind of open this window up a bit. Okay, now we can see that's where our copy is. This is why we have a duplicate window set up. Okay, next thing we wanna do, let's go to our sub selection tool here and 
this is uh i just want to grab two of the anchor points right on the edge this is why we kept those separate okay now if you notice just these two points right here are selected and everything else is kind of an open point i'm going to hold down my shift key and start using my arrow keys on my keyboard and start moving this over a bit okay what I want to eventually have happen is this will join the other building. I'm going to let up off my shift key as I get close. The reason I was holding down shift is it actually moves things in 10 pixel increments. If it's just the arrow, you're moving it in one pixel increments. What I'm waiting for, as soon as this touches this other building, all of this will be one shape and all of this will light up at the same time. So, okay, almost. And one more. Good. All right, so we've got that going. The next thing we're going to do is go back to our rectangle tool and we're going to fill in buildings in this area. These don't have to match or anything. Well, you're not doing any more copying, just kind of building out some things here. And just so I don't get too fancy, I'm actually keeping, uh, I'm just working in the small window here. Okay, and I have a little laundry mat right there. And maybe up here, this is where George and Wheezy live. Okay. Okay, again, I'm being careful not to get too close to that little spot there. All right, not too bad. Okay, so I've got that going. All right, so this looks pretty decent. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and select all of this, okay? And I'm going to convert this to a symbol. So we press down F8, and it's going to be BG, keeping it as a graphic, and click OK. All right, now, the next thing I want to do is let's go all the way over here to frame 180 on my background layer and I'm going to enter a keyframe F6 and click right here on my city and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to type in negative 1100 okay now watch this you see the this is where the little pointed building is and everything's going in there right so once I hit return Okay, even though all that shifted, this is where the pointed building is. Everything is still the same. This is that little trick. Uh, frame 1 and frame 180 are going to look identical. Okay, this is why we did the copy and paste in place and then shifted it over. Okay, next I want to go ahead and do a motion tween here. So I'm going to click anywhere in between frames 1 and frames 180. And control click or right click, create motion tween. Okay. Not bad. So I'm going to do Command Return, Control Enter on PC. And we've got this going pretty decent. Uh, there is going to be a problem with it though. If you notice, we're about to get to frame 180. You'll see a little pause. Okay. Now that pause is there because frames 1 and frames 180 are identical. So what we're going to do, let's see if we can see this little pause pop up again. All right, and there you see that. So what we're going to do next is uh, close this out and I'm going to go here. And I'm going to select frame 179, enter a keyframe, F6. Okay. Then I'm going to select frame 180 on both layers. I'm going to do that by holding down my shift key. Okay. Then I'm going to hold down shift again and press F5. That will delete my frames. Okay. So let's go ahead and save. Command S. Control S on PC. And let's test this out again. Command return. Control enter on PC and we'll have our seamless loop happening. Okay, so this is going pretty decent and 
we're back at frame one okay so that's what we're looking for all right and the next lesson we'll be adding on uh, some more layers here and starting to create the multiplane and after that we'll add the rain to that so this has been Tony Ross for creativecow.net remember keep it simple make it perfect if you don't have time to make it perfect rethink the idea